Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. Today's show, I have the five Raiders players on offense that have the most to prove during training camp. Now, I had a bunch of people being like, Mitch, are you excited for training camp? Heck yeah, I am. So this is what I want you guys to do. I want you to take a screenshot of both of these graphics that I'm going to show. Important training camp dates, okay? So we have... The rookies reporting on July 23rd, and then they got the veterans coming July 26th, July 31st, that first day off, and I'm really excited for the preseason versus the Rams, preseason versus the Cardinals, and yeah, August 19th, nice little break time. So, let's get in now to the five players that have the most to prove on offense. Number one for me is Richie Incognito. So, he signed with the Raiders on May 28th, and then literally on that day, was inserted, I think, to be with the first team. Now, Denzel Good was unavailable for the afternoon OTA session, and the 35-year-old Incognito stepped right in without skipping a beat. Now, there's been a lot of hype around Richie Incognito, and this quote from Gruden kind of makes me laugh a little bit. He's pretty good. I like him. He's a Pro Bowl left guard. The last time he strapped it on, he wasn't just good. He was one of the best. John, I really, really hope you're talking about football in that quote. So let's look at these Raiders left guards, okay? Why do I think that Richie Incognito has the most to prove? Because out of all the positions on our offensive line, the left guard position is the one that scares me the most. If you can insert Incognito into the left guard position, I'm going to feel really confident about our offensive line. I mean, we know Rodney Hudson. We know, well... Hopefully, Colt Miller steps up, can live up to that hype. And then Denzel, good. I just don't really see him being the part that's going to make our offensive line everything that we hope and we need it to be. I mean, you look at 2017, 2016, you could argue we had the best offensive line in football. Insert Richie Incognito. Man, I'm really hoping we can get back to that. So, will Incognito make the Pro Bowl? He was a Pro Bowler 2015, 2016, 2017. I am very intrigued to see how many four for Believe It Babies I see in the comments section and how many zeros for Tuck Rule, Tuck That. Next player that's got a lot to prove, Chris Warren. And you guys love Chris Warren. So we know he's kind of struggled with weight throughout his career, and I'm not saying just with the Raiders. He also struggled when he was at Texas. He's competing with Doug Martin for that running back three spot. And he was placed on IR last season after having the one of the best preseasons I've ever seen for a running back to literally do nothing in the regular season. So, 58 carries, 292 yards, two touchdowns. Led all running backs in the preseason. Now, Chris Warren is one of those players to me who I think has a lot of hype around him. And you guys, I understand, love him. And I, there's certain times where I watch his film and I'm like, man, I don't see it. But I did come across this really interesting stat, which I broke down a few days ago on the Raiders report. So, he is the only running back, okay, from these combined numbers. To be over 6 foot, to be over 240 pounds, to have a sub 4.740 time, and a sub 7.3 cone drill. Okay, so him and two other players. Two other players have those kind of metrics. LeGarrette Blunt, Le'Veon Bell, and Chris Warren. Chris Warren's story is really, really entertaining, and I think he is a talented running back, but from what it seems like, I just don't know if Chris Warren really wants it. And you guys are always like, well, he's never really been given a chance. I think he has been given a chance. So here's the right now the Raiders' depth chart. Josh Jacobs, now that he's signed, thank goodness, he's our running back one. I think he's going to be our workhorse. Jalen Richard is the RB2, is going to be the third down back. Doug Martin is right now the RB3, and I think Chris Warren is likely to be on that practice squad, but if Chris Warren can maybe ball out a little bit more, maybe really push Doug Martin, maybe the Raiders go with four running backs on the roster and not just three. Doug is a safe option to mentor Jacobs, but Chris Warren, I will admit, does have, I think, a lot higher ceiling than a running back like Doug Martin. So y'all love Chris Warren, so let's have some fun here. What's a good nickname for Chris Warren? Maybe instead of saying Chris Warren all the time, maybe I could just give him a nickname. Do you guys want to give me a nickname? Comment it below. You know what? In fact, yeah. Give me a nickname. Tom's raising his hand. Pick CW3. I think that's already taken. Oh, CP3. I don't watch Star Wars. What's a good nickname for Chris Warren? <laughs> and I don't know basketball. What's a good nickname for Chris Warren? Comment below if you guys want to give me a nickname. Or maybe I'll put him on uh, next week's show. Next player. Is Chris Paul. No, Darren Waller 
is a player that has a lot to prove this year for the Raiders. So he's a freak athlete. Team loves him. And Raiders head coach John Gruden said last month that he believes that Waller is the best kept secret in the entire league. Gruden also said this. Since the time he's walked in here, he's one of the been one of the most impressive guys on our team. He learns fast. He is fast. He's extremely talented. Also, the praise doesn't stop there. Derek Carr also said that he's really excited about him because he's super fast and that he learns really, really quick. So I understand that Waller is the sixth round pick, okay? But in last year and his entire career, he hasn't really lived up to a lot. So 18 catches, 178 yards, two touchdowns, career. Last year with the Raiders, shout out to Tad for at least finding a picture of this guy. Six catches, 75 yards. We know he's athletic, okay? But here's the thing. Waller said that he used to use drugs and alcohol at age 16. And that he continued it literally all the way up until August 2017. Until one day, he consumed pills in his car that he thought were laced with fentanyl. And spent several hours sitting in his car thinking he was going to die, okay? Okay. Yes, I'm getting deep here, but he also said that that was his turning point. If Waller, who is 6'6", and who is very athletic, can finally live up to the hype, maybe, and just maybe, he could actually be that solid tight end, and he could be that reason why the Raiders aren't going out there looking for players. Like, they had their choice. They had their option to go get a player like Jared Cook, or bring back a player like Jared Cook. There was options for them to go out and get a player like Kyle Rudolph. You could add a veteran tight end, but the Raiders have said all off season that they're confident in Darren Waller. And if the guy who used to be a wide receiver, and we know Derek loves tight ends, if he is this athletic and this freakish of an athlete, maybe, just maybe, if he can stay clean, it's going to be really good. And that's why I think he's got a lot to prove. So let's say Darren plays all 16 games. How many receiving yards for Waller this season? What do you think? 500? 600? 200. How many receiving yards for Darren Waller this season? I want you to comment below if you're watching on YouTube and if you're watching on Facebook. Okay, let's go to number four here. The next player that I want to talk about, it's Hunter Renfro. Fifth round pick out of Clemson. Dude simply just gets open. Like, there's some times where I watch Hunter and I'm like, all right, he's not fast. He's not really that athletic. But yet, he, he gets open, and he catches the ball when it matters the most. Like, I almost think that you could put all 11 defenders around Hunter Renfro, and the dude's going to figure out a way to come down with the football. And right now, he's in a little bit of a competition for that wide receiver three spot. We know A.B. and Tyrell Williams are one and two. But here are the three wide receivers battling for that three spot. J.J. Nelson has got that elite speed that can stretch the field. But in terms of being a slot option, it's between Hunter Renfro and Ryan Grant. Now, Ryan Grant, to me, I've seen what I'm going to get out of Ryan Grant. Eh, you know, like, Ryan Grant, his entire career has been an okay slot receiver when healthy. He also struggles to stay healthy. He's bounced around to a bunch of different teams. Like, I think if he's the slot receiver for the Raiders, you're looking at, like, 400 receiving yards. That's, that's not really what I'm going for. It's not really ultimately what I want. And like I said before, then you're looking at J.J. Nelson. The dude brings elite speed. Sure, he's got the fifth fastest 40 time ever. But I think J.J. Nelson's going to be a bigger impact for this team in special teams and also just more of a threat. The fact that, that he's on the field, you have to respect that speed and you can't double up A.B. or you might not be able to bracket cover A.B. J.J. Nelson to me is the streaker. Hey, maybe if, Raiders, if you need a streaker, also, I'm available. So... Will Hunter Renfro be the Raiders wide receiver three? I want you to type one for yes or type two for no. I think Hunter Renfro is by far going to be the most reliable out of those other options. And I think it's also the highest ceiling. I want to see what we can get out of this young rookie. And if he can show that he can play well with A.B. And if he can show that he can play well with Tyrell Williams, I think Hunter Renfro is going to win that job. Now, you guys know that I love when you guys interact with me on IG and on Twitter. So I want to give a special shout out to the people who recently just followed me on Instagram. And if you haven't followed me yet, hit me up at Mitchell Renz 365 a good way for you uh, to get on the Raiders report. I also want to give a special shout out to the people who followed me recently on Twitter. And I also just realized that uh, they put somebody's name Camel Toe on the show. So I guess you guys know uh, where my mind's at. Take a screenshot, continue to grow the nation on IG and on Twitter, and make sure you guys interact with me at Mitchell Renz 365. Also, make sure you're interacting with our sponsors. My bookie, go to chatsports.com slash Raiders. Who likes money? Who likes football? 
Cool. Go to my bookie. And if you're like, hey, Mitch, I was born in 1940s. And I don't know how a computer works. Slide to my DMs and I'll get it set up with you. Go to chatsports.com slash Raiders. Use the promo code to get some free money. 100% deposit bonus. What does that mean? If you put down 50 bucks, you get 50 for free. Hashtag math. All right. Let's talk about the last player here that I want to talk about. It's Marcel Aitman. And sure, I'm going to mention two wide receivers because I think the wide receivers do have a lot to prove. And Marcel from week 11 on last year was the wide receiver two for the Raiders. But the Raiders offense is a lot, lot different now. And heck, the number one receiver for the Raiders last year is retired and is not even on the team anymore. So right now, Marcel is in a four-way battle fight for the last wide receiver spots to make the 53 man. I think one potentially two of these receivers will make the final 53-man roster. But I really like Keelan Doss. Keon Hatcher, I get it. He, sh he balled out the final preseason game last year. And then Black Knoll, I, I don't really think he's really in the running. But Marcel, he's got UDFA Keelan Doss nipping at his heels. And I'm telling you what, Keelan Doss has looked really, really good this offseason. So Marcel is number five on my list for offensive players with the most to prove. But you guys know what I'm going to ask you. I'm talking about Doss. I'm talking about Marcel Aitman. Who's the better wide receiver? Type A for Aitman or type D for Doss. Okay? And I want you to at least give me solid reasons why you put those answers. Because I always look in the comments and I'm always interested to see what you guys got. So, better wide receiver. Type A for Aitman or type D for Doss. So, let's do a quick little recap here of the top five players that I think have the most to prove for the Oakland Raiders in training camp. Richie Incognito leading it off. And I got Chris Warren at number two, fighting with Doug Martin. Darren Waller, high, high hopes around the Raiders. Let's see if he can at least produce some numbers. Hunter Renfro, Marcel Aitman, the last two players with the most to prove for the Oakland Raiders. So, type Raider Nation for life if you've watched until the end of the video. So, I've had a bunch of people DM me this, and I want you guys now to type Raider Nation for life if you watch until the end. And then I'm going to hit you up because uh, I got something special for you. Raider Nation, I'm out. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go.